Superman's gotta come out. Know what I'm saying? Rowan Wags. Hey, YouTube family. Welcome back or welcome to Recruiting Board, the best channel on YouTube. That's right. I said it because it's true. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should be, if you follow me on Twitter, which you should be, I have been hyping this game up for months. I knew that on Saturday, October 1st, I would be making the two and a half hour trip down to Avon, Connecticut and watching Avon Old Farms versus Loomis. This is a game between two quarterbacks, Ryan Puglisi from Avon versus Dante Reno, a South Carolina commit. Ryan Buglisi has offers from Alabama, Georgia, Boston College, just to name a few. Oh, they're about to come down. I was about to say, it wouldn't be a good walk down there. <laughs> this is a game with dozens of Division I recruits. Not even talking about the commits like Olas Aileen, who's committed to Alabama. Jackson Harper, who's committed to UConn. There are tons and tons of prospects because that's how we are in New England. We have dozens and dozens of Division I prospects. This is in 2010 where there are just maybe three. There are literally over 40 across all the states now. So today, guys, I am bringing you to the best game in not only all New England, but I think this is the best high school game across America. This is one of the most beautiful campuses I have ever seen, by the way. It is great to come out here. I had a pleasure driving the two and a half hours because I want to do it for my audience, okay? Like I said, I cover football in all of New England, not just Massachusetts. So take this time, like, share, and subscribe to the video, especially if you're from New England. Nobody does it like me, right, Wags? Nobody. I'm taking football to a whole different level. Just show support for the channel. Leave a comment. We love recruiting board or comment your favorite play it helps with the algorithm let's get this video to 200 likes like 5,000 people are going to be watching this so 200 likes 100 percent doable all right guys avon versus loomis let's get into the action hey coach woolley and coach banks look at that two goats right there oh damn the student section Oh, the baby powder. Oh, God. Best game in America right here. Do us a favor, guys. Help us with the ball. All right, we just did a game. All right, he's old. He's slowing down. I'm like, doing good. All right, but I'm not going to make it to halftime. But help us with the football. Oh, that was unnecessary, man. Tails is the call. Avon gets ball. Puglisi's gonna get the ball first. Hey, let everyone hear this. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Oh, 
uh, Thompson versus, um, hold on. Reno keeps it. Oh! Oh, good tackle. Reno's gonna take it, and Reno is gonna score. Dante Reno, touchdown. Bro. I was at the uh, Dexter. Glazy keeps it. Oh, damn. There's a flag though. No way, no whistle. Boise keeps it. Oh, 
Oh, never mind. The Bluesies in. Touchdown. This is a different game. Dante Reno. Reno stays on, fourth down. They're gonna give it up the middle, touchdown. That might be game. Oh, dang. W. Loomis. Coach Banks, what a win. You know, I think that might have been the best game in all of America, most high profile high school game. Coach, what does this mean? You get a win over Avon your first year. We've been looking forward to this one, right, really since, since I got here. Yeah. Um, this is a great ball club. Coach Hooley does a great job with these guys. You know, they've got a lot of great players on that side. <laughs> Pugues is a tough, tough son of a gun. Our guys, you know, since uh, since we took to this week, uh, we've just been talking about taking it step by step, day by day. Uh, only thing that's important is what's in front of us, uh, and that's how we tried to play tonight. They gave us a little bit of a, uh, of, a, of a punch coming out in that second half. Our guys were able to kind of, uh, you know, refocus and, uh, and, and kind of lean on them the way we want to. We were able to establish a run. Just a great team win for us. Our defense played a he heck of a game. I'm glad you said that because I think that was late in the third. You know, you had a big decision to make. You were down here. You know, it was fourth and three. And, you know, you could have kicked it. But you went for it, Coach. Talk about that. We've been saying we got one of the best fronts right in, uh, in high school football, and, and, and especially New England. Uh, we just wanted to lean on those guys. If it's not an inside zone, when it's crunch time, it's, it's offensive. So, And we figured if we didn't get it the way our defense was playing, we could pin them down here and play a little bit of field position. But our guys were able to punch it in. Those guys were able to lean on them and, uh, and exit down the end zone, which is, which is great. So gave us some money. Talk about Jacob's play. Felt like he was disruptive yeah, on that line. Uh, that kid, Jacob Smith ruins every offensive drill for us in practice. Uh, <laughs> that's, what's, uh, that's what's great for us. Uh, our guys go against you know great competition every day in practice. So when they get out here in, a, uh, in the course of the game, uh, you know it's, it's a little bit easier for them. Not that these guys are, uh, are easy. Uh, an easy competition, but uh, we're playing a guy like Jacob Smith every day. He lives in our backfield and in, uh, in practice, so uh, he gets those guys. Better they say iron sharpens our iron, and uh, you know he certainly sharpens us. Yeah, absolutely, coach. And then obviously this was a big one, but 
you know, the message moving into next week and the rest of the season because, again, this is a big one to get over. I mean, these guys are going to enjoy it tonight. A lot of hard work that they put into this. Guys are uh, guys are coming together. We're gelling pretty uh, pretty well, but like we said, man, we're only thing we control is what's in front of us, and we've got a uh, we've got a Hotchkiss team next week. You know that we uh, that we need to take care of business with. They certainly aren't going to be afraid of us since we uh, since we beat Avon. Uh, so we certainly have to keep our process, go day by day in our preparation, and then uh, we hit the field next Saturday. Continue to improve on the stuff that we've been doing. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you very much. Quarterback Dante Reno, Dante, what a win! You know, Coach Banks was just saying he's been. Everybody's been talking about this since he stepped foot on campus. You know. Talk about getting this win over a good Avon team. Yeah, it was great for our team, our program. Obviously, losing Coach Moore was was tough last year, but then Coach Vegas coming in this year, um, doing a great job of keeping us all keeping us all together at one school. A lot of schools try to get us to go other places, so it was great for him to keep us all there. And we should have a really good team culture. Um, that's what evidently showed on the scoreboard today. Fumble the kickoff, they score right out of halftime. Uh, we come back, we score post touchdown right at the top. So I mean, it shows our team, shows our players that we have on our team, it shows that Coach Banks what he's done with our team. Uh, so it's a great win for us, but we're on next week too. They get that momentum coming into halftime but then you took it right back the big thing for us is winning plays we talked yesterday i mean we had our captains meeting yesterday with our five captains um we just went about winning plays winning plays winning plays i mean if we played 200 plays tonight we won 101 we were gonna win the game so it's a big thing that we talked about yesterday was winning plays winning plays and if something bad happens just going to the next play and oh, playing the next play at the same time. right and then you know being a team like avon you know what does this do for team morale and team chemistry and all that yeah i think it's great i mean we were walking down the hill today and their fan section was already over there going crazy. But no, it was great for our team and it's great for our culture of the program too because they are ranked number one in our league. And I think after today, I think we all know who number one is. So, uh, but no, it was great. It was a great day. I mean, I think, you know, and I mean this when I say this, I think this might have been the best high school game in America. Talk about New England football because you're a guy, you're committed to an SEC school. Ten years ago, that might not have ever happened, know. you know? Yeah. I mean, no, it was huge. I mean, every player on that field is a Division one player. So it was awesome. I mean, they bring out the best in us. We bring out the best in them. But no, it was great for our team, great for the league. Um, I think, like you said, yeah, I mean, I don't even know how many people we had today here today. But I guarantee you, around the country, I mean, we had more than some college football games. So it was great for all of us. Great for New England football, too. Um, I think people need to put New England football on the map now um, after watching this game and all that stuff. So it was great for great for us, great for, great for them, and great for New England football. So I, I've never asked you, but, you know, I've, you're a South Carolina commander, but you want to talk about that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, it was great. I mean, South Carolina is a great spot for me, and it's a great spot where I can go develop, um, have a chance to play early, and just do all the things I want to accomplish. Like, we came here and did last year. I mean, we won the first ever championship in our school's history. So let's do simple things like that, and that we can do with South Carolina, too. It's going to be great. You want to shout out your friends and family, brother? Yeah, I got my mom over here, my cousins. Uh, shout out my sister, Ange, who's taking care of all the balls today. She gives me an all third downs. My brother, Vince, who's actually on kickoff, so kickoff return today. So shout out all them. Shout out my dad, grandma, my auntie, Nikki, Uncle Bobby, who's been at my side since day one to coach me and all that stuff so no it's been great for me and i'm just so thankful for this game i love it bro. i love it bro hey man Gorger, best of luck to you dante congratulations oh, thank you. Thank you. i couldn't walk away without stopping five foot five uh 100 pound hola saline that's my joke brother <laughs> hola so talk about this win man that a hyped up win i think it was the best game not only in new england but in america i mean it was an awesome atmosphere the game itself Everybody was loaded up for this game. Like, we've been hyping this game since last year. Everybody marked their calendars for October 1st, night game. Avon opening at their new turf. Like, like this game means a lot, and we, we've been ready for this. We've been ready for this for a long time. Yeah, and, you know, talk about just the – you guys – came out you know it was kind of a heated game but i felt like you guys had control from start to finish i feel like that was a big emphasis on like just executing and doing it the right thing and and staying under control like our quarterback was saying that the team that gets under control first is going to score like like especially in offense like defense is more of a dog fight but in offense you got to be able to focus to do your assignment and get to the right spot and and after that dominate like First, you got to get there, and then you got to dominate. You just can't be running around. Obviously, it was down here. You know, it was fourth down, and you guys could have kicked it to go up by 14, but Banks says you're staying on the field, and then they ran behind you. you know? I mean, that's all love. Like, that's all love for the coach, for the play calling, trusting me. But, but like, I was like, I was like, for sure, we're going to kick this. Like, we're up by 11, like, let two touchdown lead, and, and then they're like, yeah, let it run inside zone behind uh, to the left side. And I'm like, let's do it then. And, and let's go, man. Like, like, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, and hey, they punched it on in. So, you know, what does this do, though? Because obviously, you know, big win, you know, one of the most probably a game that every, everyone has is circled. So moving into the rest of the season. I mean, for us, 
we were already talking about it when we were huddling up with the team. Like, we're going to enjoy it today. We're going to have a day off tomorrow. Enjoy Monday. We focus on the next opponent. It's 1-0 one, one -oh every week, like one week at a time. And the main goal of this year is to dominate every game and go undefeated. Olas, you want to talk about your Alabama commitment? I always see your uh, rings over Lambos tweets, so I've been dying to ask you this. Oh, yeah, rings over Lambos. Definitely, like, you got to first focus on your player development and, and being a winning culture, and, and the other stuff will come after that. Yeah, what's it like to be sitting in Nick Saban's office? I mean, my first time, I was, like, stressful, but now it's, like, it's fine now. Like, it's a different vibe there than uh, other coaches' office anywhere, so... It, it's more tense for sure like as a player because uh you have such a respect for for coach Saban but but he's a really great guy he's genuine he's all about business and and he cares for his players so it, it's a great feeling to be there yeah and uh you know the last question I had for you is talk about being from Finland coming here you know now you're a top recruit you know what does this do for the, the your country what does this do for you like talk about that I mean it definitely uh it definitely helped other kids, not only like in my country, but like the whole continent of Europe and like people from outside the U.S. who want to play football to kind of see how everything could be possible. And but it's this crazy feeling to think about it coming. Like I was like two years ago, come from Finland and now be going to Bama in a couple months. Yeah, heck yeah, man. Yeah. You want to shout out your friends and family? Oh, yeah, definitely. Shout out my family back home. I know they were staying up late watching this game. So that's all I love for them. Shout out the recruiting board. Hell yeah, Olas. Yeah.